first on five. Dramatic moments at a Mobile County School Board meeting tonight over a proposal to reconstruct May Eanes Middle School. News 5's Alan Carter was at the meeting and he joins us live from the old campus with all the details. Alan. Well, Mel, when school ended last year, so did May Eanes Middle, closing over the summer. But of course, it was not without outcry, and the issue came right back up tonight at a school board meeting that ended with one of the members walking out. It was a contentious decision last year, but the issue was assumed put to bed with the merger of May Eanes Middle and Williams in high schools. But for one school board member, the matter is far from over. This is not the end. I am very disgusted. Board member Robert Battles requesting the use of bond money to bring back May Eanes. That request, however, stopped in its tracks without getting to a vote. What's the pleasure of the board? So move. Get a second. Get a second. Get a second. Motion fail of lack of second. Battles calling it discrimination, claiming the money has already been allocated. And the schools are failing because we are not giving the adequate attention to all the schools on an equitable basis. Another board member, however, says those funds are contingent on the completion of ongoing construction. And it would be foolish on the part of this board to spend money that we don't have. I am elected just like each one of y'all sitting up here. You should have no more right to dove over into my district and talk about what's finalized than anybody else. And I'm fixing to go anyway. We have one school system, not five school you systems. You ain't got no one school system. All right. Call that dog. Mr. Harwell, do you have anything? I'm, I'm gone. I'm finna catch up on drive, my trip. Drive carefully. The superintendent says it's a process but there aren't any plans for changes. I think what we need to do is to continue to see uh, how well the project is working. We also need to look at the student population. And as always, we need to make sure that we have adequate staffing. And Battle says that he plans on holding a community meeting, although at this point he's not quite sure on when. He also says that he may consider filing a complaint with the Justice Department. Reporting live in Mobile, Alan Carter. News 5. Thank you, Alan. This evening commute tonight wasn't all that great for some drivers traveling along Interstate 65 north of Airport Boulevard.